it's Juvereen here and welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't uploaded anything for a while so I thought that I should just record a very simple video. So first things first, uh, as a live update, I'm currently in Melbourne. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing university here. But because of COVID, classes have been moved online. So it's quite a bummer, but well, that's how life works sometimes. I hope everyone is actually doing well, um, self-isolating if you have to, um, social distancing and all that. I hope every one of you are okay at home. For an extrovert such as myself, it's kind of torture, but you get used to it after a while. I'm currently living in the dorms in Monash, near Monash at the moment. And it's just been a really nice experience living by myself for a while and meeting a lot of people. This video is going to be a little chatty and I hope you guys don't mind it too much. So I've just finished putting on my contacts and now I'm going to put some Muji pink makeup base, which is what I usually do before I put on my foundation. It helps to give like a really nice glow on my face, which I really really like. And it's very lightweight, it's nothing too heavy. By the way guys, it's actually Easter today when I'm filming this video, so... Happy Easter to all of you. It's pro it'll probably be after Easter when I upload it, but I don't know. I'm in a, I'm in a good mood today. I'm happy. And now I'm going in with a little bit of Benefit foundation. This is the Hello Happy. I feel like I've used this foundation so many times, but it's a really nice foundation and it has like a semi full coverage. It's not very thick and heavy on your face, which I really like. I really like semi full coverage foundations just because I don't like my foundations to be super thick on my face. I feel, always feel like it's like covering my pores if it's really thick, which I do not like. Also, before I actually put on my makeup today, I did like some skincare. I washed my face with a face wash. So I think it's really important to just do that before your makeup. It really does make a difference on your face. Do you see that glow? It's really nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Clear Smooth All-in-One BB Cream stick that I have, this one. Use it as concealer for my under eye bags as well as the acne that I have. So I'll take a brush. Now you want to take your sponge, I'm going to use this end, just dab it in so it blends. Now I'm going to take some powder, this is the Muji powder. I don't really know about much about this powder, I think they discontinued it. This is one of like the discontinued Muji products. So sadly I don't think you can find this in Muji anymore, but they do have another type of powder. So you can get that instead from my eyes, the under eyes, on my eyes, as well as nose, sides of the nose, top of my forehead. How do you guys like my new hairstyle by the way? Um, if you guys are on Instagram, you'll see that I got my bangs back. Also I dyed my hair. It's a little bit of a red brown shade, don't really know how to describe it. but. I honestly think it's really refreshing, something new. I was bored during um, just staying at home. I mean, with COVID-19, we're not supposed to go out. It's not a good idea. So, you know, staying at home, just not sure what to do. Decided to dye my hair, cut some bangs, then, um, I don't know, do makeup, take some photos. 
my dorm has like really nice scenery, scenery outside. Um, the leaves have started turning red because it's going to be autumn here in Melbourne. I'm sorry guys, my words are like so not well today. It's like, I can't seem to form proper sentences while filming videos. I think I have to get back to like getting used to filming videos and talking to you guys. For contour, I'm using my Zoeva Basic Moment palette. Using these two colors. Never Ending and New Era. I feel like they're a really good combination. They're both cool toned by the way, so they help like even out the warmness of my foundation and just my skin in general. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. At this point I don't really have a lot of like makeup items anymore. I've kind of given up on buying new stuff just because you know, there's no point. I'm saving money. I'm living in a dorm. So, going back to the Too Faced Just Peachy palette, taking this color, chocolate dipped, just going in with my eyebrows. I don't want to add in a lot of words onto the screen, so the products will be in the description box and not in the video itself. And I really envy people who have like really nice thick brows because like, damn they're like they can spend so little time on their brows and meanwhile I'm just I spend the most time on my brows and it's kind of annoying sometimes. I'm going back to my just peachy palette, taking just peachy, swiping that over my lids. I'm gonna take some photos with the um with the trees today because the leaves are turning red and it's really really pretty outside so I'm gonna try to match the red color of the autumn leaves I'm taking peach punch now really quickly I'm going to go a little bit of peach punch as well as a little bit of peach tart. So I'm making same two colors and drawing like a line here and here. Now I'm taking this can make palette. This is from a friend in Malaysia named Jiazin. She's such a cutie. I'm just gonna take the pink color here. It's shimmery by the way, it's a shimmery pink. Let's put in a little. Now I'm going to take my Muji eyelash curler and just curl my lashes real quick. How has everyone been doing during COVID by the way? Um, I don't know, I feel like I've become so much more productive in so many different ways just cause like COVID's making me clean up my room a lot more and I'm doing a lot more schoolwork cause there's really nothing else I can do here um, been trying some new recipes I made Dalgona, if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys would know that I made Dalgona coffee it was absolutely amazing you know living in a new country by myself for the first time it's just really nerve-wracking sometimes, but it's really, really um, fun just having this newfound independence and being able to go grocery shopping myself and just cooking fun stuff, especially now that it's COVID. Now I'm gonna put some blush. Um, I'm using this color mixed with this Just Peachy and Peach Punch. Oh, 
oh that is really really pigmented I might have gone a bit too much but too late so Lei just walked in she's a friend from Taiwan <laughs> she lives like right across me because our dorms is like a hotel so it's like a hotel room like that so it isn't like a shared house or anything we all live in this complex where we have like neighbors across each other it's really fun honestly um i've gotten so close to Lei. if you guys have been on youtube and you guys see my shopping trip the vlog she's in there as well so i met her in malaysia and we came over to melbourne together This is a siren in Scarlet from Maybelline. I think I've used this quite a lot of times before. Now to... I just realized I didn't put on eyeliner, so I'm just gonna like put on some black gel liner really quickly. Whoa, is that... that's pretty even, I guess. Oh well. And um, I'm gonna lift my eyes a little bit, just draw right below my lashes. Uh, if you're not really stable with your eyeliner, I don't recommend doing this with a gel liner. Do it with like a pencil liner, because you might poke your eye with the gel and it will just run through your eye and you don't want that happening, it's really dangerous. And then to soften everything up, I'm taking the same brush I used for my um dark brown and pink kind of shading just now i'm just gonna like shade that black in and then i'm gonna take this holika holika middle eye glitter in color 08 just dab a little bit at the bottom so i have like the illusion of an egg yourself Then a little bit at the top. And then a little boop on my nose, so. And then I'll do like a little dab here on my cheek. And then on my cupid's bow. Now I'm gonna put down my bangs and see how everything looks like together. So, oops. Fluff it out a little bit. Okay, honestly, I think I look a lot better without bangs, but I've already cut them. I was bored during quarantine, so they're coming down. And that's it for today. I'm going to like, skip through this and go to some pictures that I took with the leaves to show you like the final product I won't be doing like the poses that I usually do and stuff like that I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little top and I want you guys to know that I'm rooting for each and every one of you out there who's dealing with COVID-19 a lot of my webpad um, friends have messaged me and um, we've talked a lot about COVID we've talked a lot about how our lives have totally changed and I just want everyone to know that you know sometimes life just hits us when and we can't do anything about it but um stay positive stay happy you know it's i mean it's okay to be sad every once in a while but don't let yourself fall into this pit get yourself out of it trust me you know everything will become better if you guys ever need someone to talk to feel free to drop a message on my message board on whatpad or send me an instagram dm but tell me who you are first like oh i know you through youtube or whatpad or something you know because um i tend not to reply to messages who like are just really anonymous and i'm, I'm just cautious i'm just really um paranoid about those kind of messages so yep feel free to talk to me if you guys need someone to talk to thank you for watching today's video 
Hey guys, I'm back. Um, just a short note before I show you the photos. I forgot to do this, but um, so I've actually combed down my bangs properly now, and I added this little hairband on top. It looks like a bunny tail, honestly. It's so cute. Um, yes, happy Easter, everyone. Just wanted to show you my bangs because I'm proud of how this hair turned out. I look really bad, honestly, at this angle. Like, how's this? Is this better? Yep, this angle is a lot better, but anyway, whatever. See ya!